Another warm welcome to the program Know Yourself. This is a channel, as we have always ensured you and assured you, it is the channel that we have designed to help all of us in our relationship. Whether we are now preparing to enter the institution called marriage or we are in it, this channel has been designed to help all of us build that relationship. So we have embarked upon a very long series of giving you tips, ingredients that will help spice up your relationship. And each time that we meet you, the promise is that we share two of them with you. And we're going to continue today by sharing yet another tool. And the first to consider today is the need for you to pick your fight wisely. You are from different backgrounds. At times from different educational backgrounds, some people even come from different religious backgrounds, age differences. And so once you are two people from different backgrounds coming together with the grace of God becoming one, there is that uh, quest that once in a while that misunderstanding will come. When it comes, it doesn't mean that the relationship is collapsed. But it is to strengthen you that next time, whatever brought that misunderstanding, you don't go back to it again. But I want to assure you that there are some fights that do not need your attention. You don't need to even waste your time on those fights at all. Don't, as I said, waste your time on trivial issues, trivial things. Can you imagine? Your husband or your wife grew up within a certain vicinity. You have left that vicinity for some time because of marriage, traveled to somewhere, and you are back. And on the day of your return, your wife or your husband bumps into that lady or that, well, that man, young man or woman, that he or she has grew, grown up within that community with. And so they bump into each other and then a little simple hi. Then you want to fight over. Why did you say hi to that, that lady? Why did you say hi to that woman? Why did you communicate with that woman or that man? In fact, for God's sake, some of these things you don't. I keep saying that, yes, you needed if you were a, 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 an Akan and your favorite dish is fufu. Fufu is prepared with soup, and so you needed fufu, and you came home meeting that your wife has prepared bangu, or what we, we say it in Ghanaian parlance, kokonte, with soup. And that is also one of your delicious meals. But indeed, you were thinking of fufu, but this time you came to meet another food prepared with also soup. I mean... Why do you have to pick a fight out of this? Enjoy the meal. Then at the end of the day, if you have any discussion, you just have to have it. Because I'm very sure that a, a lot of strength and thought went into the preparation of the food. So you don't want to will your wife down. And so all that I'm trying to say to you is that this is very crucial ingredient that you need not to forget. That... If indeed you want to pick fight in your relationship, pick your fight wisely. Then the second point, which will be our second ingredient for today, is that you need to practice active listening in your relationship. And when we say active listening, what do we mean by that? By active listening means that anytime that you engage in a conversation with your partner, you lend him or her your undivided attention. You give him or her all the attention that he or she deserves. Not that you are communicating with him or her and yet your attention is on something else. So that time is for the two of you. You need to develop this attitude of active listening. To enhance your relationship, if your wife or your husband observes that any time that he or she is engaged in conversation with you, he is receiving full attention from you. Indeed, it inspires him almost all the time 
to urge him or her on to have conversation with you. And as I have already said, these are two simple basic ingredients that indeed you also need in your relationship. And I want to assure you, just keep trying it. Put them in your relationship just as you prepare a meal and you will enjoy it. Again, we are entertaining your comments. We are entertaining you to subscribe. Press the button if you subscribe so that you will receive content from us. You may like and share so others can also benefit from us. Thank you so much once again for your time. Bye-bye.